it began with just the way the, the county was formed itself with the Niagara Escarpment. Just carving out of solid rock this peninsula that juts as far as it does out into Lake Michigan and provides all this shoreline. And, and then the, the underlying rocks and shoals that you wouldn't suspect on a lake are there. So all of the initial schooners that were moving people and goods around uh, would founder and find trouble on the reefs and, and sink. So the, the, the owners of those ships demanded that something be done and a lot of lighthouses got built. There are actually more lighthouses per mile of shoreline in Door County than any other place in the country. We have a higher concentration of lighthouses here because of the treacherous waters around here. And with all those goods and all those people being moved by ship, it was important. Uh, there's not enough time um, on your voyage on a lake to use a sextant to get a proper fix and have a good idea where you are. You could be off by 100 yards, and if you're off by 100 yards, you could be on the rocks. So only those aids to navigation that were on shore that mariners could see and know for sure, this is exactly where I am and I'm lined up where I need to be so we don't run aground. So that's why there are so many here, just to save lives and, and goods. When Nicolet came here in the 1630s and met with the Winnebago, and was he learned the story of Death Store and, and how it earned that name. But it wasn't until decades later when the shipping and the number of ships here increased that it sort of had a secondary name of it was just treacherous to get through that narrow passage and a lot of ships would wreck there. And, and because of the, the temperatures of the water here, you can still see those wrecks. They're just absolutely well preserved. But the name came simply because it was just such a treacherous piece of water. There was uh, a little area that connected the northern part of Door County to the southern part of Door County called the Portage, and there was a discussion about digging that out and creating a canal. So they, they finally did that. The government took a, quite a long time to award that contract, let the land happen that way and have it done. And it was done primarily to speed up moving of commerce around the lakes and increase safety for those ships. And it created lots of new business here in Sturgeon Bay. By the time it opened, Navigation was changing and the machines that propelled ships were changing. So not soon after it opened, it sort of lost its critical importance to, to shipping. But it still functions today. Still a lot of very large freighters come through the canal, choose to come through that way as opposed to going around Death's door. Again, it saves time and money. The future of maritime history here, I think is about uh, science, technology, engineering, um, those type of things designing and building uh, safer ships, smarter ships uh, that are more environmentally friendly. And the ship companies that are here are working on that. They're still building brand new ships that meet the new environmental standards. They're winning contracts to build Navy ships and combat ships here. And so there's a lot more technology being used in these modern ships that are being built. And I think the history could shift that way in the future.